Ok, in this lesson we will install and configure the Tor service. Let's install the Tor itself. Yes. Great, it just took a moment. Now let's edit the Tor config. Just tune it a little bit. So we open it with the nano. It's located in this directory. And here we wanna find the hidden service dir and hidden service port lines and change it to whatever we want. Okay, let's search for the line we want to change. Oh, here they are. We change the hidden service directory to the directory of our dummy website. And we uncommand the hidden service port. So we change the hidden service directory line to the directory we want to associate with our test website or with our production website. This directory will be created automatically and it will contain the hostname file and the private key file. So after we've made changes to the configuration file, we want to restart the Tor service. So the first line in the config file tells the Tor service the path to the key file that is created automatically by Tor uh, when it is run uh, first time after the config file was modified and it plays the role of the onion domain. So your .onion domain of your website will be generated based on your private key. The hostname file now contains the domain address which was generated based on the hash key uh, of the private key. So let's just take a look at the hostname contents. As you can see, we have our .onion domain name here. And the private key file contains your RSA private key. So, not to lose the control over your Onion domain, you really want to back up your private key file and store it in a really secure place. But before you back it up, download it and store it somewhere, it is better that you encrypt it, for example, with GPG. So, let's go on and see how it is done. You type GPG, path to your file. And here you wanna provide a really strong passphrase. Make it not a password, but a passphrase to make it more secure. Okay, so the file was created. You can save it somewhere safe. So what we wanna do next is to check if everything works okay. We wanna open the Tor browser and visit our website.